Hello, good evening. Welcome to our channel, Yushi Talks. And today we are going to talk about a North Korean man who smuggled Squid Game into the country who is going to be executed by firing squad. We have more details about this. Please continue to watch this video and also subscribe to our channel. Let's get started. North Korea appears to have come down hard on people who distribute or watch Netflix's hit show Squid Game. A report by Radio Free Asia cited unnamed sources inside North Korea as saying a man who smuggled and sold the drama had been sentenced to death by fighting squad and a high schooler who bought a USB drive containing the show was sentenced to life in prison. Another six high schoolers who watched the show were set to be sentenced to five years of hard labor uh, as per the RFA report. Their supervisors were also set to be punished with teachers and school administrators being fired possibly to be banished to work in remote mines. RFA is a US government funded non-profit news service that serves all audiences in Asia. It says its aim is to provide accurate and timely news and information to Asian countries whose governments prohibit access to a free press. The South Korean television series Squid Game tells the story of 456 death-laden people competing for about 45.6 billion won or $38.3 million of prize money in brutal survival games. A law enforcement source in North Korea's North Hamyong province told RFA's Korean service. This all started last week when a school, high school student secretly brought a USB flash drive containing the South Korean drama Squid Game and watched it with one of his best friends in class. The friend told other, several other students who became interested and they shared the flash drive with them. The students were caught by government censors after a tip-off. It's the first time the North Korean government has punished minors under a law that penalizes the distribution, watching or keeping of media from capitalist countries like South Korea and the US. The government is taking this incident very seriously saying that the student's education was being neglected. A source told the outlet that one of the students got off the hook because they had rich parents who paid a $3,000 bribe. Last month, the straight, uh, state-run North Korea propaganda website said that the Netflix drama highlighted South Korea, how, how South Korea was a place where corruption and immoral scoundrels are commonplace. Despite the threat of retribution, smuggles, illegal copies of Squid Game have been making their way into North Korea. So that's all we have in today's video. Please continue to watch the space for more informative news. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day ahead. Bye-bye.